dear friends we are still in the lockdown period corona virus is not easily going to go away we have to learn to cope up with the situation in the coming days and as a result of this uh, covid 19 all of us know what is happening all around the world and we have seen the most developed nations have been uh, devastated by this corona virus and uh, most of the european countries and uh, even in our country there is an increase of covid uh, uh, spread we can see whether it's in maharashtra or in gujarat or in madhya pradesh in chennai or in tamil nadu and many other parts of india we see there is an increase of affected people and uh, we hope we will be able to uh, contain this virus spread together uh today i would like to share with you something about uh, in the context of this corona virus there is uh, there is another aspect which we need to pay attention to since our children are at home with you parents and you are also most of you are not going to the offices and so on uh, therefore what happens is there can be in the world level i am talking and at the same time in our country in our situation in our families in our society we can have tremendous amount of anxiety fear and depression and also a helplessness among people and what could be the reasons for this uh, anxiety or depression there could be various reasons the first reason can be of the stress at work you know generally before this pandemic uh, we can have our workplace stress we can have uh, st- students can have stress uh, in the school we can have stress from a relationship maybe a uh, family relationship or relationship outside etc and uh, financial stress may be another co- uh, reason could be emotional trauma of suppose somebody who is close to us have been met with an accident or or passed away etc that affect all of us affect seriously affect and the fear of, fear of uh, punishment another another reason suppose some mistake has happened and then we don't know what is going to happen the fear of punishment can give us tremendous anxiety and also anxiety can be the result of drug addiction alcoholism and so on and uh, maybe some symptoms of illness also make us so down so depressed so anxious and so fearful but today the situation can be a combination of everything but there can be also due to this pandemic people are in stress and uh, what are the reasons for this this uh, pandemic stress which uh, apparently we may not be able to see but it can be a terrible thing that's happening in on each one of us and therefore i would like to share with you a few facts about uh, this uh, this uh, uh anxiety and fear first of all in the social level in the, in the society level in the nation level in the entire humanity there is a stress there is an anxiety there is worry there is fear and as a result there is a lot of depression happening to people people are uh, so much uh, concerned about their health even it's affected uh, all over and therefore what happened right? the reasons can be of various levels number one is of social distancing you know we are all living in the families these days cut off from our official engagement and works etc it affects all of us and uh, social distancing can be the reason uh, for many people to get into depression or anxiety another good reason is uh, is a lot of misinformation is happening you know some of us or many of us may be watching regularly tv and newspapers and magazines which are that are available and social media news you know social media you cannot filter which one is good and which one is not so good which one is authentic and not so authentic etc because there are a lot of fake news coming fear is created on a daily basis through social media and uh, in our tv news also if you listen to tv news for a long time i am sure that uh, we will get worried because the death toll in different countries and the spread of this and also what we are seeing is the migrant workers are suffering their death 
and continuously the negative things that are happening in the society has been repeated and telecasted and what happens is to automatically get into our system and we feel so much depressed and distressed and we are disappointed this is a fact so this is a uh, uh, reasons which we must understand and uh, another thing can be because how long we have no i say pandemic especially this uh, corona pandemic is uncertain it has contributed to two things one is it is so upsetting and second one is so distressing so uncertain and therefore it can affect all of us and third reason is we can be this our routine is disturbed completely disturbed because we had we used to go to the office we would go go to for outdoor activities we we visit people or friends we had gatherings and we had games etc nothing of that sort now no activities outside and it it is really affecting all of us and uh, and there is uh, there is a fear of sickness also because we don't know all these apps are coming how how near to you uh, and so on and uh, we see in the tv we see in the programs etc that uh, many of our neighborhood is affected or uh, in the state is affected and for one or two patients the entire district is closed and so on a kind of panic uh, reactions you know government sometimes pressing the panic button and uh, for the sake of two three patients or something and the, the entire district is uh, put in such a uh, hazardous situation and therefore people think that my god this is going to be very very serious. and then so much of fear is gone into the minds of the people and we see even somebody is unfortunately dead they are not even allowed to bury in the cemeteries or the place of burial we have seen it in chennai we have seen it in ranchi and then government had to make certain ordinances certain laws uh, in um, allowing the people to bury etc etc that is because lot of misinformation and a lot of fear is happening another reason for the anxiety could be of the financial loss job loss people in general are suffering i'm sure that uh, the economic impact of this pandemic is immeasurable it will have a long lasting impact on the people so my dear friends we are in a state of uncertainty and difficulties and our children for example especially our children children are at home these days you know this is a young age according to eric erickson the young age is so important and they they have to be with their peer group they have to play they have to have studies they have to question they have to have inquis in, in, uh, what do you call uh, inquiries etc nothing is happening these days they are at home of course online classes are there but then online classes is not a substitute for classroom teaching therefore the children find it difficult these days staying at home for long time without having any socialization there friends so therefore what happens children also get into anxiety and uh, so there how do you recognize anxiety in children number one is small children will have uh, a lot of uh, irritation lot of crying everything is in a kind of as if they are physically sick or fever or headache they will go on jit karega na they are going on crying they will be all, all kinds of uh, uneasiness in the children that's the first thing if it is small children and the second thing is their loss of interest in doing anything they will not study online classes etc the teachers are giving the homework has to be done they won't do that on time because and most of the time they will have excuses etc and a kind of maybe excessive eating or completely abandoning eating all these things could be that means a kind of disorder in food habits can be a reason for anxiety and uh, also the younger boys for example what we call uh, adolescent spirit teenage boys and so on boys and girls can be so irritating this time they may be rebelling they may be answering you so uh, we cannot ignore this aspect that this there is anxiety level is growing among the children and we see these days you know the boys locker room uh, recently came in delhi that problems no and we have also seen so much of depression by children and there is also a kind of violence that is happening abuses in the family is happening i think the the child welfare committees etc are getting more and more 
cases about child abuse and so on so there the, the impact of this this corona virus at various levels and we need to understand this and uh, dear parents you are the uh, persons who can do something especially for your children and your family in this corona virus time in the lockdown period give more a positive atmosphere at home give them more opportunities to divert their ch- or channelize their energies into positive things creative innovative ways etc unless we do these things i think uh, this anxiety level will be go very high i think the family is the best place family must have a loving caring compassionate creative and critical uh, atmosphere and that only you can bring it my dear parents and my dear teachers and let us all together take this anxiety level to a lower level perhaps we can remedy this and make our children make our future better thank you very much and god bless you all Bye.